we weighed the different types of waste on a gram scale with the same weight. First, we weighed the first type. Let's weigh the second type of simulated waste. Rice. Now let's weigh the third type of waste that simulates dust. Now all three types of simulated waste have been weighed. Next, let's spread these three types of simulated waste evenly on the ground. So we have two waste tracks with the same weight and the same laying method. Next, let's start our cleaning effect comparison experiment. Before the test, I prepared some extra waste and we confirmed in advance that these vacuum cleaners had good effects before the test. This is the High Endurance S5 vacuum cleaner with a 150 West brushless motor. Let's try it out. Okay, it's very clean, which means it has a good cleaning effect before the test. Let's test another vacuum cleaner with a similar amount of waste. This is a high power traditional vacuum cleaner with a 450 watt XA motor. It has no ability to resist suction attenuation. Sure enough, he can also complete the task well. The first to appear is our protagonist Tilda S5 vacuum cleaner. Okay, as you can see, the S5 has cleaned up very well with no residue. These are the dust outside the width of the floor brush on both sides. Let's continue cleaning. Wow, it's really very clean. Let me check again to see if there are any fine dust residues on the ground. None at all. Perfect. Next, the second product is coming on stage. Wow, here's the situation. After the dust test, the machine with 450 watts of power can no longer suck up the rice. It can only push them forward. So, why does this happen? Let me explain the reason. Both of these models had good suction before the experiment. But after the dust suctioning experiment, the vacuum cleaner without suction attenuation lost its ability to suck up garbage. I will provide a more direct disassembly introduction. Sure enough, it turns out that the filter is completely blocked by dust, and the motor here has also entered the dust. This can easily cause damage to it. As you can see, after disassembly, there is more dust in the filter than expected. The suction generated by the motor has been completely intercepted by the blocked filter, making it impossible to suck up the garbage. Let me simply clean it. A lot of dust. There's a lot of dust clogging up the filter. This is the dust on the filter. This is the dust inside the dust cup. I feel like half of the inhaled dust is clogging up the filter. This is the main reason why it has lost its suction power. Next, let's disassemble the S5. Thanks to the excellent patented dust separation technology of the S5, there is hardly any dust on its filter. Simply clean the filter of the S5 in the same way and see how much dust you can get. Hardly any! This allows the brushless motor to continue to deliver strong suction power. This is one of the reasons why the S5 with only 150 watts of power can outperform other vacuum cleaners with 450 watts of power. Finally, let's try out its flat suction accessory. It's also perfect. After this comparison, I hope it can help you choose the right vacuum cleaner. Thank you for watching.